All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at the Cyberlight Hand Cannon mod which is being made by user Bloodmeat08 and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is two fun new noir style handguns into the Commonwealth which I have been having a lot of fun with. And actually a fun little fact on these, you guys actually may recognize the name Cyberlight as a while ago we had a look at a Cyberlight Apartments mod, and these guns were originally supposed to be a part of that, but the mod maker couldn't decide on some final touches for them, and so decided to release them separately as their own little thing. And so I'm quite happy to see these. I love the noir aesthetic of Cyberlight Apartments, and so I'm equally as happy with these guns. Now let's take a look at what you do get with these particular pistols. Now there are two. The first is the Cyberlight hand cannon pistol and it is a fun little somewhat slapped together pistol in its design which is uh very interesting. It holds four rounds in the chamber and will deal 48 damage using the 44 ammunition with a firing rate of 6, range of 95, accuracy of 76, and a weight of 5.6. And with all standard modifications, it's an interesting enough weapon, but what's even cooler about it is some of the modifications, including a barrel that will change it from a standard type pistol into a shotgun, which I find amusing, and I always love shotguns, so yay for that. Now the other pistol that we get is actually the Cyber Light Hand Cannon Launcher, and this is a mini grenade launcher, which in its standard form will do 201 damage, with a custom ammo type of 20 millimeter frag grenades, which you can make at the chemistry workbench. It has a firing rate of two, range of 203 accuracy, of 86 and a weight of 4.9 and you can actually change the ammo type to be either the frag grenades or incendiary grenades or even plasma grenades all of which is quite fun though I do believe the frag one is ah no never mind the plasma is the most powerful at 301 but good times nonetheless now as for how you get your hands on one of these guns it's pretty simple all you need to do is travel downtown and head to the combat zone. I'm actually going to show you a little uh, video here of me collecting these guns earlier. Just east of the combat zone is a new office called Cyber Light Office. It's literally just right behind the combat zone. And inside that, if you turn to your left, you'll find an office where one of the two guns is on the desk, and then the other gun is in the safe along with some uh, rounds for you to play around with for the launcher, which is quite cool and uh yeah they are fun weapons they are unique so sadly those two guns in the office are the only two you will ever find in the world uh thus the multiple ones that i have is thanks to console command cheating so you won't find these in the leveled loot list or in stores or anything like that they are unique weapons. So with that in mind, let's actually take a look at the chemistry station first to see the ammunition. And as you can see here, it's just up at the top, the 20 millimeter rounds category, where you can make the 20 millimeter frag grenades pretty simply so long as you have Demolition Expert 1, the incendiary grenades with Demolition Expert 2, and the plasma with uh, Science 2 and Demolition 3, as well as some plasma grenades in your inventory. I was wondering why that one was out because currently I have no weapons but these guns. So there we go. Pretty simple to make them and very effective. Now as for the modifications here, let's take a look at the pistol first. And in the receiver category, we have four different receivers on hand from the standard to a powerful, a hardened, and then an advanced, which will bump up the damage to a total of 84, which is the most damage you're going to get out of this particular weapon. Now in barrels, we have have a wooden barrel, a uh, standard barrel, a shotgun barrel, hardened shotgun, and a hardened barrel. Now, uh, I'm actually making one slight mistake here on this being the standard gun because it actually came with this one, and I forgot that I changed it over to the wooden barrel, which all that does is shorten the range on that, but I actually like the wooden barrel. It makes it look kind of piratey. 
and I'm okay with that. Now the next is grips. We have two options, either the standard hard grip or a comfort grip, whichever you choose. We then have in sights, uh, just a couple of options, either no sights, iron sights, a custom reflex sight, or a custom scope. All good options. And then finally, we have on the muzzle either a, you know, nothing or a suppressor, one of the two. It is quite the tiny little suppressor there. And actually, if you put on one of the longer barrels, it doesn't seem to show correctly. So only on the shorter barrels does it seem to work. Uh, and then for the launcher, if we go up to that, in the actual launcher category up here is where you change between the different ammo types, either the frag, incendiary, or plasma. And then we have in barrels just two options, either the standard barrel or a barrel with a grip. Whichever you so desire, they change none of the stats, but I like the barrel with the grip, it looks cool. And then we have the actual grips in here, and again we have either the hard grips or comfort grips. And then finally in sights, we have either the launcher sight, a reflex sight, or a scope. And uh, yeah, the scope's kind of weird to put on this one, because of course, it's a grenade launcher, it arcs, probably not the best, but I mean, you do you. So all right, with that out of the way now, let us take some shots with these and show them off. So this is the standard pistol. And again, as I did mention earlier, four rounds of 44 ammo. And there we go, pretty slow on the shooting overall, but I still think quite a good gun, and with the uh, modifications adding more damage, you can do a feasibly good amount at 84. Though definitely still not exactly end game, but nonetheless, a good little gun. So let's take a look at my improved version of it, where I actually have the uh, scattered barrel on there, which is fun because the scattered barrel, well, it turns it from a single shot thing into a shotgun thing. And I like that. Again, only four shots, but a good weapon. Man, who doesn't like a handheld shotgun? It's just entertaining. Now, as for the different launchers, let's go to, yes, here we are, the frag launcher for the standard version. Just give that a good arc. Ah, a lovely large boom as well. I mean, Come on, it's a grenade launcher. That's what you're looking for with that. And a uh, sensibly fast reload speed in my mind, so you can just keep on launching these downrange to kill all of your enemies. So let us take a look now at the incendiary one, which is basically like throwing a Molotov. But you know what? You can throw it a lot further than you normally could, and that, that is quite wonderful. Oh God, where did that one actually go? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Well, let's catch those bush bushes on fire. Very nice, and a very entertaining weapon, perfect. So now over to the plasma, which of course is the highest damage of the three, and also for some reason I did decide to put that scope on there, cause why not? And if I aim here, it should hit roughly there, I believe, and fire. Yes, lovely, and I mean, come on. It's a plasma explosion. Who doesn't love that? It's just great. But yes, that is the Cyberlight Hand Cannon mod. A pretty fun assortment of, well, not really an assortment, it's two guns that doesn't necessarily make it an assortment. But yes, two very entertaining weapons. I love the noir sci-fi aesthetic and, well, they're just entertaining. Which means now it is time for us to go and take care of Will over there. Oh, you poor animal. I'm actually probably gonna miss him entirely considering I have to uh, compensate for the arc, but oh well, fire at Will. Literally. Oh God, I hit him dead on. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Well, where's the rad stag? Ah, behind the bushes. And fire. Oh, too long, too long. I think it scared him though. Yep, there he's off. Fire again. Got him in the long hot, long shot. Perfect. Perfect. All right, but yes, that is the Cyberlight Hand Cannon mod. A very fun little addition, and 
I think very, very cool overall and definitely a gun for you to give a try. And if you'd like to, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when we'll be looking at hopefully another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.